So I just finished watching Mortal Kombat, the remake um, that everybody has been talking about for the last few days. I'm really glad that they uh, released it basically to the public, so it didn't get like a theatrical release or anything. It was basically just put on VOD and I uh, happened to come across a streaming service which was showing the film and um, I watched it and I liked it um, basically for the most part. I would say that it's a perfect blend of a remake from the original and Annihilation, which Annihilation was crap, but um, it, it took the story from both and it remade it in a really well done, um, you know, new interpretation kind of thing. Um, it's basically, you could basically call it a Sub-Zero versus Scorpion story because that's what it focuses on a lot, especially from the beginning of the film, introducing Sub-Zero and Scorpion, how, where Scorpion, you know, came about and uh, how Sub-Zero, like Sub-Zero is basically, you know, he, he his story starts in the beginning of the film and then progresses right to the end. So um, they, they focus on those two characters a lot. So as a Mortal Kombat film, uh, which the previous ones didn't really put them in the forefront, this one definitely does. Um, I loved everything about revamping it. The CGI was incredible. Everything looked so real. I loved the ice effects. I loved the, the scorpion effects. I loved every effect. Goro looks amazing. I loved every uh, effect that they revamped in this uh, film kind of thing. There's a few things that were annoying. Um, I did not like the character of Kano at all like zero <laughs> i did not like him at all i found him incredibly annoying i found his sense of humor did not hit um none of the humor actually hit this film at all because they were taking it so seriously i found the sense of humor that they put into this film just didn't fit and kano was like the representation of that it's it's like just get him off the screen he's he's not funny he's not entertaining he's like I just I did not I did not um, enjoy it I didn't I didn't enjoy his character at all I also don't know how I feel about a shit ton of f-bombs in a Mortal Kombat film like I think a Mortal Kombat film should be not well you you can you can go r-rated with the violence like I'm all for that but just fuck after fuck after fuck um, for no reason, just, like, it felt, like, thrown in there kind of thing. Um, I'm kind of so-so on that. It, again, it's, it's another thing that I was saying with the humor. It doesn't always fit. It doesn't always, um, land kind of thing. But, um, it is what it is. It doesn't ruin the movie by any sense, but I just... I would feel more of like a cartoonish kind of middle, I don't know, I, I don't know how to describe it, like, I don't know, I just, some of the things that they went for I just don't see fitting very well, that's basically what it comes down to it, um, however, with the quality of the film, yes, absolutely, I enjoyed it. Um, it's a perfect revamp. All the cast was great, except for Kano. I didn't really like him, but um, he didn't do a bad job. I just don't think he really fit with the theme of the film kind of thing. And that's what I was saying about the F-bombs too. Like it, With the theme of the film, it, it feels out of place kind of thing and and when it came to the humor and um the other character i forget his name right now the guy with the red eyes with the with the tube coming like uh the the guy who looks like he's in a like a he has the red eyes um anyway and and he he, he talked with like um 
like some Boston accent and he was another humor relief for the film and again it just it I didn't buy it it didn't feel natural it didn't feel like it fit with the film with the like it fit with everything else that like every other theme that the film was going for to me personally maybe some people love it maybe some people love Kano maybe some people love that guy with the red eyes um it just didn't work for me basically but that doesn't take away from how good the film is and the quality of the film that um, was presented. So uh, they did a really, really, really good job with a remake. Um, that's how a remake should be done. And um, I really enjoyed it. I recommend watching it. Check it out wherever you can stream it. And uh, if it's released, I'd say buy it if you want. You know, it'd make, uh, you know, on 4K, I'm sure it would look absolutely amazing. Sub-Zero and Scorpion they they make the film they make the film for sure and um and and the backstories the backstories of sub zero and scorpion um how the film is introduced top notch 100% amazing so um yeah that's basically what it comes down to with my review um i do recommend it check out mortal kombat wherever you can uh, subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice and if you like my film reviews and I'll be back for plenty more uh, real soon so until then uh, keep in touch and uh, I will be here so cheers and until next time take it easy